Can I get a work visa to teach English in Germany? As it is one of the most modern and prosperous countries in the world, it is no surprise that Germany is a popular destination for teaching English abroad. While there are numerous opportunities for language teachers in towns and cities across the country, it is not always easy for non-Europeans to secure a visa that allows them to stay long term. However, it is certainly possible if you are able to meet the specified criteria. For EU citizens looking to teach English in Germany, it is relatively straightforward as they are able to work freely without a visa, while others such as Australians, New Zealanders and Canadians can apply for a working holiday visa. However, for Americans and other non-EU citizens, there are fewer options when looking to live and work in the country. That being said, if you are patient, it is definitely possible to obtain a work visa that allows you to fulfill your dream of teaching English in Germany. How to apply The application process can take up to two months and must be done from within Germany. So most teachers enter the country on a tourist visa. As the process is quite slow, you will need to be able to support yourself financially while you wait for your application to be approved. It will also help considerably if you have a good knowledge of the German language or the help of a local contact who can guide you through the process. The requirements may vary from state to state, but the basic process is as follows. Register at the local Standesamt Einwohnermeldeamt registration office within a week of arriving in the country. Find a permanent address such as a rented room or shared apartment, not hotel or guest house. Apply for teaching jobs. Once a job is offered, obtain a letter of intent from the employer. Visit the Ausländerbehörde Immigration Office to apply for residency permit and work visa. Open a German bank account. Visit the Finanzamt Finance Office and apply for a tax ID number. Once all the required steps have been completed and you have received your residency permit, work permit and tax number, you will be free to legally teach English in Germany. Can I get a work visa to teach English in Mexico? Yes, for the majority of foreign nationals who come to teach English in Mexico, it is common practice and relatively straightforward to apply for a visa that allows them to work in the country for at least one year. By obtaining an official work visa, you will also receive other benefits, including access to the national healthcare system. Mexico is an increasingly popular destination for teaching English abroad, as it has a huge job market and it is possible for most foreign teachers to obtain a work visa. Another reason for its popularity is that foreign teachers do not need to possess a four-year degree or be a native English speaker to secure a good quality position. As long as you have completed a TEFL certification course with a reputable provider, you are eligible to apply for a work visa. With this official stamp in your passport, you will be free to enjoy all the fantastic culture, stunning beaches and bustling nightlife that Mexico has to offer. Work Visa There are a few restrictions on who can apply for a work visa for teaching English in Mexico. Passport holders from all countries except North Korea and Iran are eligible and there are no age restrictions. No teaching experience or college degree is necessary, but you will require a TEFL certificate. The only other requirement is a formal offer of employment from a local employer on official school paper. Please note that regulations can change at any time, so we recommend you check with your nearest Mexican embassy for the current requirements prior to departure. Visa application First, you need to find a job that suits your plans and obtain an official offer of employment from the school. You can then fill out an application form, which can be found on the Mexico Immigration website. Within one or two weeks, you should receive confirmation and a request for further documentation. The requested documents need to be submitted along with the application fee, currently $90. Required paperwork, subject to change. 
copies of passport pages, tourist visa that was issued on arrival, three passport photos, proof of residence, apartment, guest house, hostel, copy of your TEFL certificate, apostilled. Once you have submitted all the necessary documents, you will receive an NUT number which allows you to track your application online. As soon as you receive clearance for the visa, you are required to collect it from a consulate outside of the country within 15 days. At this stage, there is also a final fee to pay, currently $290. You then have 30 days to re-enter Mexico to activate the visa. The work visa should be valid for 12 months and can generally be easily renewed each year. As the application process can be confusing and is often subject to change, many people use a third party to help them through it. There are plenty of legal establishments that will complete the process for a fee, or better still, your future employer will often be used to dealing with work visa applications. In some cases, the school will also cover the cost of the whole application, so you should confirm this during the job interview. Can I teach English abroad without a work visa? The rules and regulations for living and working overseas vary hugely from one country to the next. Securing a work visa that allows you to teach English as a foreign language legally can be relatively straightforward in some countries, while in others it can be almost impossible. That said, in many countries where work visas are hard to come by, it can often be common practice for teachers to simply work on a basic tourist visa or with no visa at all. In some countries, there is a clear process for foreigners to obtain a work visa that provides full legal status to live and work. In others, the process can be expensive and time-consuming or simply non-existent. However, as the demand for English language teachers is so high in many parts of the world, the necessity of a work visa is sometimes ignored. The fact is, many thousands of people work as English language teachers in countries all over the world without a work visa. Europe In countries such as Spain and Italy, both extremely popular destinations, it is common for Americans and other nationalities to enter the country on a tourist visa and immediately start working as an English language teacher. A tourist visa in these countries is typically valid for 90 days and cannot be renewed, so after three months, many teachers simply overstay the visa and continue working. Elsewhere in Europe, countries such as Germany, Czech Republic, Turkey and Russia all have a clear process for foreign teachers to obtain a work visa. Those who apply for government-run placement programs in countries such as France or Spain will also receive full legal status via a work permit. Latin America As schools in this region generally have a high demand for English language teachers but limited finances, it is very common for teachers to be employed without a work visa. The exceptions are Chile and Mexico where work visas are issued in a majority of cases. In Argentina and Costa Rica, it is normal to work on a tourist visa that can be renewed by leaving and then re-entering the country before the original expires. The Middle East In the large and lucrative markets of Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates and Qatar, it is standard practice for employers to provide their teachers with work visas. In smaller markets, such as Jordan in Egypt, a small percentage of teachers may find jobs without a permit. Asia The vast majority of jobs across the region's teaching hotspots, such as China, Japan, Taiwan, Thailand, and South Korea, will come with the necessary work permit. Elsewhere, teaching without a work permit is not uncommon. Pros and Cons for the employer, hiring a teacher without a work permit means they do not have to pay taxes or social security contributions, making it more affordable to hire the staff they need. For the teacher, it also means no tax payments. However, you will consequently have no access to benefits such as national medical insurance or the safety of a legally binding contract. Although working illegally is not risk-free, 
Very few people ever have a problem with the local authorities. If for any reason you are caught without a visa, the usual outcome is to be put on a flight back home, while the employer generally receives a small fine. Do I need a passport to teach English abroad? The short answer is yes, you will need a passport for teaching English abroad. If you travel outside of your home country to teach English, you will need to possess a valid passport. Most countries require your passport to be valid for a minimum of six months after the date of entry, so it is vital that you check this in advance. To avoid any hassles while you're away from home, we recommend that you have at least two years validity on your existing passport. Once you know the country or countries where you intend to travel, you can contact the nearest consulate for each country if you have any questions or doubts regarding their entry regulations. How do I apply for a new passport or gain an extension to an existing one? USA From within the US, you can apply via the State Department's webpage. From outside the country, you should contact the nearest US Embassy or Consulate. UK British citizens should visit the UK Government Services website for full details on applying for or renewing their passport. Canada Canadian citizens will find the relevant information on the Government of Canada website. Australia Passport information for Australians can be found on the Department of Foreign Affairs website. New Zealand New Zealand citizens should go to the passport page of the Department of Internal Affairs. Other nationalities A simple web search for your own country's passport application procedures should give you all the information you need. Do I need a visa to teach English abroad? Most countries require foreign visitors to possess some form of visa in order to enter for tourism, business, education or employment purposes. The requirements vary greatly from one country to the next, so we recommend that you contact the relevant embassy or visit their website to ensure you have the most up-to-date information. Here we break down the most common forms of visa that you're likely to come across. Tourist visa. These are generally issued to short-term visitors who do not plan to work or study during their stay. There are several categories of tourist visa depending on the destination and your own country of origin. The most common is the upon entry tourist visa that is issued in the form of a passport stamp on arrival at the immigration desk. For example, US citizens heading to destinations such as Spain, Italy or France will receive a free stamp on entry that is valid for 90 days. In some cases, you may also be charged a small fee, typically from 20 to 30 US dollars on arrival, such as in Turkey or Cambodia. In certain circumstances, you may have to apply in advance for a tourist visa. This is still common practice for many current or former communist countries, such as China, Russia and Vietnam. Applications require you to fill out various forms and to supply passport photos and an application fee. For details, including fees and processing times, we recommend visiting the relevant embassy website. Can I work on a tourist visa? Although it is not strictly legal, in many countries it is common practice for foreign teachers to enter and work on tourist visas. Due to the complicated bureaucracy in many Latin American countries, it is normal for schools to overlook the time-consuming process of applying for work permits in favor of employing teachers with a 90-day tourist visa. A hop across the border to gain a fresh visa in a neighboring country every few months is often seen as the best policy by teachers and employers. Similarly, many U.S. citizens find work on a tourist visa in European countries such as Italy and Spain. This is also generally seen as common practice, although it is not so in other popular destinations, such as Greece and France, so it is important that you do some research in advance. Work Visa To gain full legal status to work as an ESL teacher in a foreign country, you will typically require some form of work visa. 
The procedure varies, but in most cases, a job offer is required to kickstart the process. In many of the biggest markets, such as China, South Korea, Japan, and Saudi Arabia, you must secure a teaching position first and then apply for a work visa from within your home country. In contrast, when teaching in countries such as Thailand, Vietnam, the Czech Republic and Germany, it is common to be employed locally following a face-to-face -face interview. In these countries, you must first enter on a tourist visa and then apply for a work visa from within your host country. This will usually require proof of employment and a valid passport, as well as other documents including TEFL certification, university transcripts, medical forms and criminal background checks. Student Visa In countries where it is difficult to obtain a work visa, enrollment on a study program at a local university or other institute can sometimes allow you to work on the side. For example, in countries such as France, Italy and Spain, you can sign up for a local language course that qualifies you for a student visa. During the course, you will also be allowed to work up to a certain number of hours per week. Working Holiday Visa As a result of individual agreements between nations, certain passport holders may be eligible for working holiday visas, which allows them to travel and work in a specific foreign country. Australia, New Zealand and Canada have many such arrangements with other countries including European favorites, such as Italy, France and Germany. Applications must be completed from within your home country and are restricted by age, usually from 18 to 30, 35 years old. You may also require proof of financial resources and a homeward plane ticket. Unfortunately, options in this category are limited for US citizens, as the only current agreement in place is with Australia. Spouse or Dependence Visa In many countries, there are visas available to the partners and children of those who have found employment and have secured a work visa in a foreign country. The details of these vary considerably, but may allow the partner to work and gain access to health care, schooling and other social services. How do I apply for a student visa to legally teach English in France? In certain European countries, such as France, it can often be difficult for non-EU citizens to find teaching jobs. Employers generally prefer to hire EU passport holders, who require no official clearance, rather than go through the long and complicated process of applying for a work permit. One option open to non-EU teachers is to apply for a student visa that also allows you to legally work a certain number of hours per week. Although your legal working hours are limited, it is common practice for teachers to supplement their income by taking on private students in their free time. This combination should allow you to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle while living and working in France. How to apply. It is recommended that you allow a minimum of four weeks for the application to be processed. You should also ensure that your passport is valid for at least six months after your trip to France is completed. Documented proof that you have enrolled on a study course that is recognized by the French government, typically a French language course, will be crucial to your application. The first step is to register with Campus France, a French government program that can be found here, www.usa.campusfriends.org-en. A registration fee of $70 is required to obtain an attestation. Next, you must visit your nearest French consulate in person to lodge your application. The exact requirements are subject to change, but are typically Completed application form Valid passport Additional passport photo Photocopy of passport ID page Documentation regarding your study course in France Proof of available finances Bank statement showing funds of $1,000 for every month of your stay or notarized document from parent or similar 
declaring they will guarantee the funds. An attestation from Campus France. Completed French immigration form. Airline reservations showing date of departure. 50 euro processing fee. It is recommended that you visit the consulate website for the current documentation requirements before submitting your application. On arrival. If you plan to stay in France for more than six months, you need to register with L'Office Français de l'Immigration et de l'Integration, OFII, within three months of your arrival. To complete your registration, you will need to provide the following. Valid passport plus copy of ID pages. A passport size photo. Proof of residence in France. Utility bill. 55 euro tax fee. Although it is not guaranteed that your student visa application will be accepted, if you supply all the required documentation throughout the application process, you should find you are able to head to France to begin your adventure teaching English abroad. How do I apply for a student visa to legally teach English in Italy? In some European countries, including Italy, it can be notoriously difficult for non-EU citizens to find teaching jobs. Language schools can be reluctant to undertake the often laborious task of obtaining a work permit when they can simply hire a teacher from within the EU who requires no documentation. One option open to non-EU teachers is to apply for a student visa that allows you to legally work in a language school for up to 20 hours per week. To supplement this income, many teachers also take on private students in their free time, which should enable you to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle while living and working in Italy. How to apply The process of applying for a student visa can take up to a month to be processed. You will need to visit your nearest Italian consulate in person to submit the required documents. Before applying, you should ensure that your passport is valid for a minimum of six months after your stay in Italy is completed. You also need to enroll on a study program, such as an Italian language course, that is recognized by the Italian government. The required documentation may vary, but the typical requirements are Completed application form Valid passport Additional passport photo Photocopies of passport ID pages Documentation regarding the study course in Italy Proof of finances Either a bank statement showing access to 1,000 US dollars per month during your stay or a notarized document from a parent or similar declaring responsibility for providing the funds. Health insurance documentation. Proof of round trip flights. Proof of accommodation during your stay. To ensure you have everything in place, it is recommended that you visit the website of your nearest consulate to check the exact details of any documentation required. On arrival, once you have received your student visa and are on the ground in Italy, you then need to apply for a residence permit. Your application should be made at a local post office within eight days of your arrival in the country. Processing time can be up to three months and requires the following documents. Completed application form, obtained from post office. Valid passport plus copies of ID and visa page. Four passport photos. Tax stamp, obtained from post office. Acceptance letter from study program. Public health insurance, 49 euros for six months, 98 euros for 12 months, obtained from post office. Once your application is sent, you also need to apply for a tax number through the government tax department. If you supply all the necessary documentation throughout the application process, things should run smoothly. However, it is by no means certain that every application will be approved. 
so it is important that you follow the instructions supplied by the Italian consulate to the letter. How do I apply for a student visa to legally teach English in Spain? As Spain is a member of the EU, language schools generally prefer to hire teachers from fellow EU countries, as they do not need to go through the hassle of applying for a work visa. However, this doesn't stop thousands of non-EU citizens from coming to Spain each year to work as English language teachers. Many of these simply enter on a tourist visa and technically work illegally. While this is common practice and rarely has any negative consequences, there is an alternative for those who want to live and work in Spain. By enrolling on a study course, typically a Spanish language course, teachers can apply for a student visa that also allows them to legally work a certain number of hours per week. How to apply To start the process, you should visit your nearest Spanish consulate at least three months before you plan to leave. At this visit, you should verify the exact requirements, collect an application form, and make an appointment to submit your application. You also need to enroll on a government-recognized study program in the area where you wish to live in Spain. The documentation required may vary, but typically includes completed application form, valid passport, four extra passport photos, private health insurance policy, police criminal background check in English and Spanish, medical certificate in English and Spanish showing negative test results for yellow fever, cholera, the plague, mental illness and drug dependency. Proof of enrollment on study course in Spain. Proof of accommodation. Proof of finances. Bank statement showing funds of $1,000 for every month of your stay or notarized document from parent or similar declaring they will guarantee the funds. On arrival. Once your student visa has been approved and you have arrived in Spain, you then need to apply for a Número de Identificación, NIE, within 30 days. To do so, you must visit a police station or immigration office with the following documents at hand. Completed application form. Valid passport. Copy of passport ID page. Two additional passport photos. Your Spanish address. As long as you follow the exact requirements laid out by the Spanish consulate, you have an excellent chance of receiving a student visa that allows you to live and work in Spain. Whether you prefer Madrid or Barcelona, Seville or Valencia, a student visa could be the key to an unforgettable trip. What documents will I need to teach English abroad? As teaching English abroad involves applying for jobs and traveling overseas, you will require a variety of documentation at different times. Although there may be some things that you cannot arrange until you have arrived in your country of choice, it is best to organize the required documents as far in advance as possible so they are on hand in case you need them during a job interview or when applying for a visa. The following is a rundown of the most common documentation requirements. The basics. Typically, anyone traveling to a foreign country requires a passport that is valid for at least six months. In some situations, your passport must be valid for a full year, so the best advice is to ensure your passport has two years or more remaining to allow for an extended teaching contract or further travel once your initial contract is complete. In many cases, you will also require some form of visa prior to entering your destination country. This is dependent on the laws of each individual country and should be confirmed during the interview process or by visiting the relevant government's immigration website. Job search. When applying for jobs, there are certain documents that you will generally require whether you are in your home country or your destination country. In many cases, you will need to provide your original TEFL certificate, 
although a copy might be sufficient in some cases. You will also need a copy of your CV or resume and a cover letter, both of which might need to be translated into the local language. Finally, it is always a good idea to have photos on hand as many employers will require them during the application process. Typically, two photos are requested, one a standard headshot and another showing your whole body. Make sure you are well groomed and dressed professionally or your application could go straight into the waste bin without being considered. Additional documents. It is increasingly common for employers to request a criminal background check when applying for jobs in Asia and the Middle East in particular. Although generally less common across Europe and Latin America, those applying for government-run recruitment programs might find they are required. Several countries also require background checks when applying for a work permit or entry visa. To find out the best way to obtain a background check for your specific nationality, simply complete an online search. In countries where specific educational qualifications are required, you may need to provide your university degree or diploma. Official transcripts of your qualifications might also be necessary. These should be in a sealed envelope and can be obtained for a small fee from your college or university. In some countries, you might need to fill out a medical form when applying for visas or work permits. Specific medical tests may also be required such as TB in Japan and HIV AIDS in Saudi Arabia. Employers may also require some form of physical examination or a drug test prior to completing the hiring process. What type of visa do I need to teach English in Costa Rica? The combination of a tropical climate, stunning beach-filled coastline, exotic flora and fauna, and some of the most pristine rainforest in the region, makes Costa Rica one of the most popular destinations in Latin America for teaching English abroad. Visas The majority of foreign English teachers working in Costa Rica have no more than a tourist visa in their passport. Unlike many other countries, it is technically legal for teachers to work without the need for a work visa. For many nationalities, including Americans, Canadians and most Western Europeans, tourist visas are issued on arrival in the country. Visas are valid for 90 days and can be renewed by crossing a border to a neighboring country and then simply crossing back to receive a new one. On arrival. When entering Costa Rica, it is worth remembering that you are not legally allowed to work on a tourist visa until you have registered for a tax number from within the country. To avoid any unnecessary problems at the airport, you should avoid mentioning your intention to work and declare yourself to be a regular tourist if asked. Also, it is not a good idea to arrive with bags full of teaching paraphernalia in case you are randomly searched by customs officials. By arriving as a normal tourist, you should have no problems entering the country. Tax number In order to work legally on a tourist visa, you need to register for a tax number at a government office known as Triputación. All you need to register is a copy of your passport and your local address in the city where you are registering. You do not need to wait until you have secured a job before applying. Once you are issued a number, you need to visit a print shop to obtain a book of receipts. Whenever you receive a payment, you simply rip out a receipt and hand it over to your employer. The threshold for paying taxes starts at $8,000 per year so many teachers end up paying none or very little. In addition, many teachers and their employers find there are ways to avoid paying tax, even if you do cross a threshold. What type of visa do I need to teach English in Spain? Spain is a popular destination for teaching English abroad, as it always has a wide choice of jobs on offer, particularly in cities such as Barcelona and Madrid. The warm Mediterranean climate, endless sandy beaches, and the laid-back attitude of the local people also add to the country's attraction. If this sounds like your kind of place, 
you will need to be aware of the different types of visa that are available to those looking to live and work in Spain. People come from all over the world to teach English as a foreign language in Spain and there are a variety of different visa options depending on your nationality. The following is a brief overview of the current options. However, we recommend that you always conduct your own research to ensure you have the most up-to-date information. EU Citizens As Spain is a member of the European Union, teachers from other EU member states do not need a visa to live and work legally in Spain. However, you will still need to apply for a residency permit and a tax number on arrival in the country. The application process should be straightforward and you can usually expect your employer to help you through it. Tourist Visa For non-EU citizens, the most common option is a 90-day tourist visa that is issued on arrival at a Spanish airport. Once in the country, many teachers simply find a job and work as normal, even after the visa has expired. Although this is not technically legal, it is common practice and rarely causes any problems for teachers or employers. Every year, thousands of Americans and other non-Europeans follow this route to teaching English in Spain. Work Visa An official work visa is not easy to come by in Spain, as it requires a significant investment of time and money on the part of the employer. Exceptions can be found in international schools that typically only employ teachers with a high level of qualifications and experience. Work placements organized through the Ministry of Education's Public School Recruitment Program also come with a work visa. Working Holiday Visa These are available to some nationalities whose governments have an individual agreement with Spain. The visa allows you to work in the country for a specific time, typically one year, with certain restrictions. Working holiday visas are generally only available to those aged 18 to 30 and you will also need to provide evidence of sufficient funds to last the length of your stay. Currently, there are agreements in place for Australians, New Zealanders and Canadians, although this can change at any time, so you should contact your nearest Spanish embassy to see if you're eligible. Student Visa a student visa might be a good option if you're planning to study at a Spanish language school or university, as it may also allow you to work legally for a certain number of hours per week. Unlike other visa options, the student visa needs to be applied for in advance from within your own country. Your nearest Spanish embassy will be able to provide full details of eligible study programs and how to apply.